Hi, my name's Shane Westcott from AppSense, and I uh, look after technical for the Asia-Pac region. What I'm going to do this afternoon is just show you a quick overview of our, one of our new uh, products that we've got coming out called Strata Apps. And basically, at the moment, this is a freeware product, so you're able to use that for free. It's a good thing. And what I'm going to go through today is just a bit of a, uh, a use case uh, where that might be valuable and applicable to your organisation. Now, I'm going to use that today in conjunction with two of our other pieces of technology, one called Application Manager. And Application Manager in this example is going to be used to raise the rights of my user for uh, our network connectivity functionality. And I'm going to use Environment Manager uh, to basically turn Strata apps on when this user disconnects from the corporate network. So on network disconnect, go and turn on Strata apps. So that's just one of the many triggers that uh, Environment Manager can use to apply policies and, and change your environment. Now where Strata Apps fits in the grand scheme of things is it's designed to allow a management mechanism for applications that may not be part of the goal build and you may not want to package up. So what we call the tail apps. So if you think about all the apps that are run in your organisation, there'll be a group of those apps that everyone uses and they'll be part of your goal build. There'll be another group of apps that you want to for management purposes and distribution purposes, package up using AppV or any other packaging technology that you choose to select. And, and there, again, you're going to have to package those up and you're going to manage those. But then there'll be a whole heap of other apps that users might want to use in certain scenarios or particular departments might want to use. There might be a group of uh, departmental users in a small department that need a particular app. And how do you manage those? How do you manage, you know, there might be 200, 300 of those different utilities and apps. So how are you going to manage those? So in this scenario, what we've allowed this user to do is when they're on our corporate network with this laptop, we actually want them to be running the corporate build. <clears throat> when they click on a PDF file, I want them to run Acrobat Reader because that's the reader that we're supporting. When they're using a browser, we want them to use Internet Explorer because that's the browser that we're supporting. But when they're off the network, uh, we might be quite happy for them to run other browsers or run other mechanisms that they're happy with because, you know, when they're off the network, they're not going to be ringing us up for support calls and things like that. So in this example, um, Strata Apps is going to allow us to deploy that. And I'll show you a couple of new features that are in the latest version as well, which are very, very handy. So just uh, to start off with, I've got a user here and their name is Winnie7. So that's their username. And... Uh, to show that they're not an administrator, I can run up date and time, and UAC is going to kick in and say, hey, give me an admin password, which I don't have because I'm just a standard user. Now, I've used Application Manager here, um, and I've used Application Manager to give this user the functionality of being able to manage their network connection. So that's done via an AppSense interface into the standard looking and feeling uh, network connection interface. If I click on Properties here, what you can see is I can go in and change my IP address if that's what I really want to do. But in this example, what we're going to do is we're just going to disconnect this user from the network to simulate them going off the corporate network and being by themselves. Now, when we do that, uh, our Environment Manager product is going to kick in and it's going to talk to Strata Apps and say, hey, time for you to turn on. This guy's off the corporate network, so let's give him back the applications that he's installed himself. You can see here a couple of extra icons have flipped up I've now got the Firefox icon because this particular user may, may like to use Firefox as a browser. Uh, and I've also got uh, Foxit Reader because this particular user, again, may prefer to uh, read PDFs with Foxit Reader. So those sort of things have just clicked off. And basically, um, Strata Apps is not an application isolation technology. It is a layering technology. So everything, every other application on this build can actually see those apps and those apps can see every other application uh, that's already built in. And I can show you that if I just click on my little folder here. <coughs> it will bring up um, Program Files folder just to show you that you can actually see all the files and everything there. You can see there's my Foxit installation in here. You can go into the folders and they look, you know, to all intents and purposes like they're installed locally, uh, but they're actually layered on top. So what I can do here if I just click off Firefox and show you, and, and again, I haven't run Firefox before for this user, so it's going to go through the little first bit of setup. What you're going to notice when this kicks off is that uh, what um, Strata Apps is going to do is it's putting a green border around any application which has been 
managed by Striver Apps. You can see there's a green border around it there again. Okay, so I can run when I'm off the network Firefox as my browser. If I right click on this PDF file here, if I just double click on it, it's going to open up with a standard Adobe Reader, but if I right click I get the option, do you want to open that up with Fox of Reader? And I do because I prefer that when I'm in my own environment off the corporate network, I want to use Fox of Reader. So I can kick that off and again, I get a green border around it because that's actually being managed by Strata Apps and I can go into Fox of Reader and use it for all those documents. Now the interesting thing about the integration is that when I go to Open with, I see Fox of Reader as one of the options because every application on this build can see that app and it's fully integrated. Um, as I said, not an isolation, it's about layering. If I double click on this zip file here, in the standard world that's going to open up with zip, WinZip. And I might have had a conversation with some of my mates and they've said, oh, you know, what are you using WinZip for? You should be using WinRAR. So I'll say, okay, well I actually want to install it. So let me show you the installation process for an application using Strata Apps. Uh, I can show you that because I've got WinRAR here loaded on my little folder. So let's kick off the installation for WinRAR. And when I kick off an installation, um, that's going to trigger Strata Apps to say, hey, there's a, there's a file being installed here, you want to package that up. So by default, it's going to go and grab this particular package for the user. Now, they might be a list of apps that IT has already authorised the user for. Now, I've told Strata Apps when you're installing something, put a pink border around it so you can see that border there. So we'll click on Run and we'll go through the standard WinRAR install, and I love WinRAR as a demo app because it's very quick to install. And when it finishes the install, what it's going to do is it's going to change the file association to zip files. You're going to see this little file over here, this zip file on my desktop is going to pop because the WinRAR file association is going to kick in as the last part of the installation. And there it is. Okay, so now if I double click on my little zip file, it comes up in the green border, and I've now got the capability of um, looking at my AppSense log files using WinRAR rather than using the standard corporate build of, Win, of WinZip. So let me just show you a couple of things with the latest version of Strata Apps that the boys have added in, which is quite cool. Now one of those functionalities is the ability to import and export your apps. So the scenario might be like this. I'm going to, uh, here's my Strata Apps installed apps, if you like, that I've put in for myself. There's um, the Zilla Fox at WinRAR. And I might want to export these. And what I could do is export these onto a USB key. And I'll just put them onto the disk or my apps and away I go. Now it's going to go and export those applications. Now as I said, I could do that to a USB key. And then any other device on my network, any other PC or laptop on my network that can recognize a USB key, I could plug in my USB key. And if Strata Apps has been installed on that device as part of the goal build, uh, I can then import my apps and all of my applications will be available instantly on that brand new PC I've never been onto before. Because they're fully transportable. Once they're on a, um, a Strata Apps export, I can just import them back into another device and all my apps. I don't have to go and reinstall them. I don't have to do any of that. Just import the apps and they're instantly available. Now we just let this finish its export. And um, one of the things I discovered the other day when I was um, having a play with this is that the exported file is about the same size as the combination of the installers for the apps. So you're not actually expanding, you know, a massive disk or anything like that. It's actually about the same size as the installation applications and the installed data uh, for those particular applications. That's nearly finished now, there it is. Okay, successfully exported. So once I've got that export, I could take that file anywhere else. Let me show you the file there just for sake of explanation. I can take that file with me to another device that's got Strata Apps installed. I can point Strata Apps at that as an import and say import these apps. And those apps will then be available on that brand new platform even though I, you know, as I said, I may not be an administrator on that box, but if Strata Apps has been installed, I'm going to be able to import those files. Okay. Now, as I said, this, this layer only works in this example when the user is disconnected from the corporate network. When they come in and reconnect to the corporate network, then uh, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn that off manually in the console this time, so let me just turn that off. And as you can see, all my apps have disappeared, so Fox has gone. Uh, I'm back to your standard sort of zip application. My WinRAR association has disappeared. If I right click on here and say open with, 
it gives me a uh, very wide range of choices. I can use Adobe Reader, Adobe Reader, or Adobe Reader. I've lost my Fox of preference. And just to show that off as, as a final thing, if I now go and look at the file system, what you'll see in the program files is all my folders have disappeared because that layer has been turned off. Okay, well I hope that's a, uh, a good overview of Strata Apps and what it can potentially do as a use case. Uh, if you go to uh, www.appsense.com and uh, the AppSense Labs uh, website as well, you'll be able to learn more about Strata Apps and you can download it and as I said, it's freeway, it's freeware, so uh, get out there and start using it. Thanks for your time, bye.